Could a car powered by poop break land speed records? That's the hope of a team of scientists in the UK who are using sewage to power the new prototype race car. Engineers at the University of Warwick have developed this hydrogen-powered race car that runs on sewage. Dr. James Meredith is chief engineer for sustainable materials at the university. And we want to try and demonstrate as many sustainable technologies on it as possible, including where we get the hydrogen from. So in this case, we get it from sewage. We have a microbial electrolysis cell, which is actually used for cleaning wastewater. And that goes, so when the, when the sewage goes through this process, microbes grown on a carbon fiber substrate will um, eat the sewage and produce hydrogen during that process. The initiative, known as Waste to Race, aims to drive sustainability in motor racing. The team says the technologies they're working on could enter the mainstream automotive industry in the next 10 to 15 years. So the actual microbial electrolysis cell, it's not, it isn't like the, you know, the sort of back to the future where you have a little thing on the back of the car you just tip your sewage into. The, we do the, the generation of the hydrogen off the car. We then um, produce the hydrogen, compress it, that's then available to fill the tank in the car and then that hydrogen is burnt in an internal combustion engine in the car. The vehicle is also constructed with repurposed materials that would have otherwise gone to waste, like cellulose from waste vegetables and recycled carbon fibre. The battery itself we've recovered from essentially a crashed a another car, a road car, which we can, once that, that battery is sort of reached the end of its life in a road car, we can take the cells out of it and we can run them at a much higher rate in a racing car so we can get a lot more performance out of the battery. The project comes at a time when major automotive manufacturers like Alpine, Toyota and BMW are considering hydrogen as a future fuel for racing cars. The scientists behind it hope to prove the technology's viability by attempting to break various land speed records after its slated 2025 completion date.